An Alabama senator is having a war of words with a junior senator from Colorado over the dispute to find a permanent location for Space Command's headquarters. News 19's Carmen Fuentes breaks down the latest feud in the matter. Senator Tommy Tuberville is firing back at Colorado Senator John Hickenlooper after Hickenlooper claimed former President Donald Trump politicized the decision to move the U.S. Space Command headquarters to Redstone Arsenal. The junior senator from Colorado made these claims in response to an NBC report Monday that said President Biden may prevent the U.S. Space Command headquarters move to Alabama over the state's abortion policies. Hickenlooper sent out a series of tweets Wednesday referring to the NBC report saying, quote, this focuses on the extreme abortion laws in Alabama and Senator Tuberville's decision to bar military promotions, a hold that directly affects military readiness. He also questioned the validity of the review process, saying, quote, the process that led to the initial decision to move Space Command to Alabama was minimally credible and left out key considerations. Senator Tuberville responded to Hickenlooper's tweets, saying in part, the facts are clear and the facts are on Alabama's side. In a statement made Wednesday regarding Senator Tuberville's decision to block military promotions, Tuberville said, if I thought this had anything to do with it, obviously we wouldn't be going down this road, but I believe in life. Today just so happens to be the 60th anniversary since President John F. Kennedy visited Redstone Arsenal. During a recorded video commemorating the anniversary, Senator Tuberville implored President Biden to visit the Rocket City, saying, quote, And so today I want to challenge President Joe Biden. Come to Huntsville. See with your own eyes why this is the best place for Space Command. Put politics aside and do what's right for this country. End quote. Despite reports that President Biden wants to prevent the Space Command headquarters from coming to Redstone Arsenal, ultimately that decision remains in the hands of the Secretary of the Air Force. So far, Secretary Frank Kendall has given no timetable on a decision. Reporting in Huntsville, Carmen Fuentes, News 19.